Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. Glam. And the little pink princess dragon. Ooh, I like pink. Ooh. Okay, guys. Today, Smashbox. Smashbox. Yep. We're in the little smash box. Little smash box. I finally, you know, got that smash box. Uh, put them over in their appropriate boxes, shall we? <clears throat> I've been wanting this palette for so long. And I know it's just a little palette. And it's like $29. And, you know, I know all that. But, you know, look at the Huda palettes. They're little palettes. Let me see. Where's a Huda palette? Huda Huda. Huda Buddha. You know, here's a Huda. And here's the Smashbox. This one's 29 And I think these run like 27 So, you know, I, I feel like it's not really out of line. Um, and I really like the colors in this one. Ever since... I've never seen this one advertised, really. Look at this. This is at the cover shots. Uh, you know, let me see. Can I get the light off of it, maybe? Of course not. Smashbox really does their packaging right. I mean, they really do. That That's beautiful. Um, and this is really, this, this is like not cheapo chintzy, but really difficult to open. Of course, it would help if I had it right side up, huh? Okay, maybe not quite so difficult to open. It doesn't stay open real good though, so yeah. These are my colors, and it's got, you know, a nice mirror on the entire top. Which, considering how small it is, that's a decent sized mirror. Um, look at this. It's called Pinks and Palms. It's the cover shots palettes. Um, just really, really pretty stuff in there. And the green... The green kind of messes me up because I initially thought that the green was going to be a shimmer or something. And um, it's not. It's a matte, which really makes me kind of go, okay, so what do I do with this? So I tried a couple things because I really like it. Really, really want that green to work. Um, I just, I really want it to work and it's just really not working. So I've already done my primer, got my eight times magnification mirror. And I think what I'm gonna try this time is I'm gonna take that matte green and we ain't gonna be shy. And this is when it usually messes up really bad. Uh, I'm just gonna go use my, my Luxie um, angled shader and we're just gonna go for it like above, sort of in and above the crease. And I'm being kind of careful putting this on because the first couple of times I went for it, I went like really too much and it's a whole lot easier to put more on than it is to take it off, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, you know, because if you get if you overdo it, then you're like, okay, 
now I have to take off everything and start over, you know, because you just, you know, but if you don't get enough on, you can just build, 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 build. Okay, um, I've been trying it on the lid. I had it like just on the inside and then I had it like on the outside and I don't know I'm just not really having a lot of luck with this and maybe what I need to do is you know that thing that I never do maybe what I need to do is put another palette with this now y'all know I hate doing that I really like using one palette okay now knowing that there is basically no way that hmm actually maybe I'm gonna go ahead and keep using this brush thought I had a different one in here but I don't um You can't really blend mattes and shimmers. And on top of that, you can't really blend pink and green because green is blue and yellow. And if you mix blue and yellow and red, what do you get? Brown. So what do you think happens if you mix, you know, or if you try to blend, you know, that those colors you're going to get brown. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... Mm, I'm going to use this. Because I don't think that that is a shimmer. I think that's a matte. Um, I'm sure it says on there somewhere, but this is what happens when you're old and blind. And... If it works, great. If it doesn't work, well, it won't be the first time that I messed up on film, right? Okay, and we're going to blend that in with the green and up. So, that's, I don't know, it's a little bit pinkish, but I think it's mostly, um, I don't know, silver isn't exactly the color I'm wanting to say, but... More of like a neutralish. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? It is like highlightish. Highlightish? Is that even? We just made up a new word. Highlightish. Yes. We're going to highlightish this shade into a highlightish shade. <laughs> okay. I know, I'm trying desperately with this phone that does not, like when I play this back, it's not going to be at the same angle that it's showing me right now. So it's really difficult to even, hmm, I'm going to put a little bit more of that green in, I, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know, I don't know. I do, I think I'm really going to have to put this with another palette. Um, which I hate, because I'm like, you know, if you're going to have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades, how come you don't have these shades that they could just go together, and why do you have this one shade that really doesn't play well with, the others, but it looks so good in the pan. And I really think if this was a shimmer, it would work better on the lid, but it just, I don't know. I thought it was a shimmer, and I like the shade, but it's just, it's not, I don't know. That's not bad, and you know what? is that oh that's a shader okay this is yeah um 
where is that little black brush that I just got last month in my Ipsy? This was like one of those $3 add-ons. It's a Luxie brush. It's just a little, um, wow. Yeah, this big old cut that Splinter I got at work today. Is that a cut or is that dirt? Okay, perhaps it was just dirt. Um, you know, but it's just a little angle brush, like what you might use for eyeliner. But, whatever, I'm using it for, you know. I'm going to go back into this green. With this little angle brush that's got like these wonderful little, like a little indentation there to, to put your finger. It's just really good. And I am going to... To sort of pull that green under the eye. Because I think if I do that, I can kind of get away with almost whatever I want to on the lid. Because I'm going to have like this semicircle of greenness you know so it can be like a um like a christmas wreath <laughs> yeah okay okay i don't usually I mean, most of the time I save the under eye for last, but, hmm. That is, you know, I just I think I needed to do it in order to choose what the heck I'm going to do now. Um, All right, uh, I think out of all of them, actually the two that are right next, well, <gasps> okay. See this puppy right here? I know, this is like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting weird. I was going to use this brush, but now I'm going to use a, kind of a flat packing brush and we're going to go in with this um kind of coppery bronzy whatever shimmery thing and you know these might be like i said i never saw any advertisement i saw advertisement for a lot of these palettes but i never saw advertisement for this one I never actually saw this one until I went into the Smashbox site and was just like, you know, sort of looking around. And that's when I found this one and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Why isn't this where everybody can see it? Because... This is really pretty. So, yeah, we're just going to pack that a little bit on the outside. You know, and another thing with, like, brand new shadows, especially some of these that are... I don't know what the word is. I don't want to say soft, but more buttery kind of shadows. Um, if they've been sitting in a warehouse for any real length of time... Sometimes they'll get like a little sort of a crust to the top. And so at first you're like, okay, this is really not good makeup. Until you break through that crust. And then the good stuff is, like there's still plenty of good stuff. Because let's face it, if I wore this every single day, only this every single day in a year, I would be hitting pan on it, you know, so, 
I'm not real worried about not having enough makeup in one of these. I'm just, no, I'm not. Okay, and I'm going to do my usual craziness, and I'm going for three colors on the lid. I know, I know. Why? Why, you ask? Why would you do such a thing? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just do two. Okay, you see this kind of orangey, peachy, shimmery thing right there? I'm going to use my... I believe this is a uh, Sigma. I'm not absolutely certain. It's either a Sigma or a Visante. I think it's my Sigma. And I'm going to take that kind of peachy, shimmery thing right here. It looks like this one is a matte, too. That's interesting. I really wish that green was a shimmer. I know most people are like, oh... I need more mats, and here I am going, no, I need it to be a shimmer. You know what? I always forget to do this. Who oh, knew? No, I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to use that brush. Let's try, since I've got, like, some nails that are broken, let's try this with the whole finger approach, shall we? Huh. Okay, well, I gotta admit, that's, um, that's pretty cool. Not sure if I got, like, the greatest color combination here or not. I'm just gonna drag that brown into it. <laughs> I'm trying to do something with the green, right? I mean, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm shooting for. And maybe I should try, even though it's a matte, and I usually think of doing the finger application with shimmers, but maybe I should just try that with the whole... I actually, I have another palette that... Like my Tarte palettes... All those Rainforest of the Sea palettes are, um, in my opinion, a whole lot more friendly with the uh, finger or a sponge application than they are with a brush. Like, really, really. Okay, what do you think? I'm going to try that green, and I'm trying really hard to get this off of my finger. Yeah, that, that was good, huh? <laughs> I just, like, you yeah, okay. Hmm. Alright, do I have another short nail? I do. Ooh, I have this one. Yeah, but if I do that, I'm gonna... It's gonna be rough on that side. But, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I'm going in. I'm going in! Oh, no, mayday, mayday! Doot, 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 doot! We're going with the, the green on the finger. Look at how nice that looks on the finger. I hope I didn't just overdo this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of do this thing. Sort of pat it on with my finger. And then I'm going to come back. Yeah, and if y'all think that my face is glistening, it's because it was 90 stinking degrees here today. And even though the sun is going down and it's trying to cool off, it's still unbelievably humid. Um, and it's April, and that is Florida. Uh, wow. Okay, let's do some more blending. We're blending over here. I don't know. You know, the green... I mean, I I don't think this looks really bad, but I think it would look better with 
not the green with something else so I just don't I'm really kind of sad that I'm not as happy with this green as I thought I was going to be because I really I really thought I was going to be so much more happy with this green than what I am and that makes me kind of sad okay so is this no it's not is this no well one of these two <sighs> okay brushes are messing with me hmm all right i'm guessing it's this one okay let's do the dot what are we gonna dot it with um i'm gonna use the green what the hay what the hay right see if i can even get that green dark enough to make a difference some really pretty palettes all right that's not too bad you know I hate the hooded eyes between the hooded lids and the lack of teeth I just look sad all the time and I'm not I'm really a pretty happy person yeah <laughs> I just <laughs> all right I'm going to put on some mascara and I will be right back. <laughs> and what the heck, I think I might need a little more highlight. Highlight, darling. Highlight. I'm sorry. I just, like, this is so pretty. Mm, boom ya. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, seriously, really hitting pan. I'm I'm sure you can really see it clearly now. Um yikes. But that's okay because even though I really, really enjoy this particular uh Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Um, I have so much highlighter that, I mean, after we went through the drawer of, ah, stuff, I was like, whoa, do not buy no more highlighter, woman. Are you out of your mind? I could glow for eternity. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. What would you do with this green? I really, you know, if it was a shimmer, I just think it would be so much easier to... I just can't find anything in this palette that I want to put with that green. And... I don't know. What do you think? I, I think that every place that the green is at would look better in like a peach or a pink. I, I just, I think if I'm going to use this green, I'm going to have to put it with another palette and get a green glitter to go with it. And maybe something with a little like turquoise or yellow tone or something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Comment below. And where'd my goat go? Where is my goat? Yo, goat. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Hey, listen to the goat. The glam goat. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, if you are, you know. 
just, you know, can't believe that you spend your valuable time with me. I'm so just honored. Thank you so much for every view, every thumbs up, every comment. You are so appreciated. Um, God bless you all. And until the next time, I hope you wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.